When it came to beauty, he understood what women needed and wanted. Jerome Alexander, celebrity makeup artist, cosmetics industry innovator, beauty educator. While working with actresses and models on film and television, Jerome quickly discovered that the average woman lacked training skills to apply makeup, and moreover, didn't have the tools to expertly apply her own makeup. Jerome would change all this. In the mid-70s, he developed the first line of professional coloring sets to complement his professional brushes. Wasn't long after that Jerome decided to travel the world, teaching women how to be their own makeup artist. Soon on, he realized he needed a bigger platform to get his message out. And then he found it television. Beauty expert Jerome Alexander. We have Jerome Alexander. Written by Jerome Alexander. Jerome Alexander is here with us. Jerome Alexander says we are with Jerome Alexander. Beauty expert Jerome Alexander. People ask me how did I ever choose to become a makeup artist. I didn't choose. It was chosen for me. It was an evolution. It, it just it just didn't happen that I created my own line. And it kept evolving and evolving. So how did this legend in the beauty trade become a household beauty name? Jerome Alexander, the man behind the makeup. It was in 1968 in New York City that Jerome Alexander started his beauty empire. It was at the height of the swinging 60s. Big hair, black eyeliner, winged lashes, and pale lips were the hot new trend. Wigs were also making a fashion statement in the 60s. Jerome stepped into the world of ladies' wigs at the peak of the industry. He even starred in a series of TV commercials to promote his wig brand. Girls, tell the truth. Most wigs just haven't made it. Well, now there's a whole new story in wigs. Zap! The unwig story. Here comes Bo Jest, the wig that makes you feel like a beautiful bride. There's a Jerome Alexander for every single woman. Married. Or not. Do you have yours? The wig business wound up becoming a huge industry. It was a retail phenomenon. We became one of the largest wig companies in America. It was amazing. And that was 1968. I registered the Jerome Alexander brand. Jerome Alexander wigs were found in department stores all over America, in Europe, the UK, and professional salons. Jerome's experience with hair lent itself perfectly to a brand of beauty and hair care products. We wound up, the company became uh, over a $20 million company, which you gotta understand, 20 million in those days would be like having a half a billion dollar company today. Jerome moved on from wigs. In 1970, a friend in San Francisco challenged him to reinvent himself. That gave him an idea that would revolutionize the beauty world forever. Uh, a young man who was one of my distributors out in San Francisco, he said, you know, Jerome, he says, you're a sleeping giant. He says, come on, wake up, wake up. You know, the wig business is over. Get on to something else. So I came up with this idea of cosmetic brushes. This was in the mid 70s. You, you think it, you know, it, it's impossible that makeup brushes as you see them now didn't exist. What we would do as makeup artists, we would go to these art stores and buy artist brushes. And I, I remember to do an eyeliner brush, I used to sit with a razor and make a needle point brush. I was interviewed by Women's Wear Daily and she said, Jerome, she says, how come nobody else ever thought about this? I said, thank God. <laughs> well, you wanna hear something funny? When I first came out with these brushes in 1976, there wasn't a factory in the Orient to make them. You can only make these in the Orient because it's a lot of hand labor. So I went to a wig factory, because you know I used to be in the wig business. And on this last trip to the Orient, there were 75 factories in Korea making cosmetic brushes, created an industry. And we got it into every department store from Neiman's to Saks to Macy's to Bloomingdale's. And we were in over 1,500 department stores. In 1976, 
Jerome Alexander changed the way women applied cosmetics by launching his line of professional grade applicators, brushes, and sponges. Two years later, Jerome launched a line of professional coloring sets to complement his professional brushes. I was the first one to come out with cosmetic kits. You didn't know that. I, I, knew, I thought it was brushes, but I didn't well, know. Yeah, well, right after the brushes, in 1976, I came out with the, the brushes, and then in 77, I came out with cosmetic kits. The whole world has come out with cosmetic kits, but they. I was doing a lot of television at that time. I, you know, I built the brand. Uh, we couldn't compete with all the, you know, the the Estee Lauders and the Revlons and and uh, you know Lancome, for example, because we didn't have budgets. So I built this whole brand using public relations. And I was, I used to joke, I was on every television show from Bozo the Clown to the Evening Prayer. But the truth was, I uh, I used to do these makeup segments. That man's back to you is the back of Jerome Alexander. There's the face of Jerome Alexander. He's a makeup artist and he has a cosmetic line and he has a lookout called Be Your own makeup artist. We have a great show for you today. Part of what's going to be on our show is Jerome Alexander. All of him, not just <laughs> part of him, but all of him is going to be here. I got involved with Group W Westinghouse at that time, and they had uh, a famous show called Mike Douglas. You know what you have to do, Lana? You have to experiment. You have to become a little adventurous. Try some of those new bright lipsticks. And you, you know what would really look pretty on you? The new magenta colors that are coming in. They're really... Nothing sick. catapulted the Jerome Alexander brand more than the time he spent on daytime talk shows. Jerome made appearances on The John Davidson Show, Johnny Carson, Oprah, and other national TV shows. Jerome had soon become known as the man behind the makeup. I wound up being uh, a regular on Regis and Kathy Lee. This is Jerome Alexander, in no. case you don't know who he is. Beauty expert, been on our show many times. Which really gave me probably the most exposure. It was a very hot show. Uh, I used to do the show very often, and I lived in Manhattan at that time. Every time he had a celebrity that didn't show up, he would call me 6 o'clock in the morning and say, Jerome, get your butt over here. Many women, they, they make their brow too uh, sort of arched, and they go through life looking amazed. If you bring your brow out too high, you wind up with a very sinister look. But all that fame and stardom as a celebrity makeup artist wasn't what Jerome had envisioned for himself. He had other plans. Thank you, Jerome Alexander. I decided that I wasn't going to become the best makeup artist in the world. I was going to become the best makeup teacher in the world. So I spent this whole career traveling all over the world teaching women how to do their makeup, and I'm still doing it. Once an international phenomenon, Jerome was looking to reach a new and engaged group of consumers with his best-selling products. He wanted his product line to span a larger demographic. Welcome to The Makeover Show with Jerome Alexander, America's foremost makeup and beauty authority. For over 25 years, Jerome Alexander has been teaching women the world over how to make the most of their looks. He designed the first line... In the late 80s, Jerome was a pioneer using paid programming to sell products and makeup knowledge that could help women change their look. Please welcome Jerome Alexander. With my personalized computer makeover, you'll have the look you've always wanted. And as an added bonus, you'll also receive the original Jerome Alexander professional makeup brushes. Not just one, but eight brushes. The complete makeup kit and the brushes could cost well over $100, but they're yours free when you order your Jerome Alexander computerized makeover at the surprisingly low price of only $49.95. It was in the mid-90s that Jerome began the next phase of his career, selling products to a worldwide audience on home shopping channels in Italy, the UK, and Germany. So, wir kommen zurück, liebe Zuschauer, zu unserem Jerome Alexander. And when I was on Home Shopping Network, I was one of the pioneers on Home Shopping Network. I came up with a product. At that time, we called it Italian Marble. This is today the world the worldwide launch of the Jerome Alexander Italian Marble Mineral Powder. A translucent, micronized powder, three times the size from Italy. With sales soaring, Jerome became a regular guest on home shopping networks. I want to introduce you to the makeup artist to the stars. I want to introduce you to Jerome Alexander. It is, of course, our makeup maestro, the one and only Jerome Alexander. Hello, Hello you gorgeous. Jerome Alexander. Jerome. Here's the man who has been, you've spent your life focused on beauty products. And making 
women like Look. you more beautiful, if that's possible. Jerome Alexander. You know him as an artful master of color and as a cosmetic skincare authority. Now Jerome marks four stellar years on HSN. Come celebrate this milestone with me. You'll enjoy anniversary specials, great values, plus some incredible new items. Don't miss Jerome Alexander's four-year anniversary celebration beginning Thursday. A true work of art. Jerome, thank See you. See you in March. All right. Oh, thank you, sweetheart. In the late 2000s, Jerome is back in front of the camera, this time starring in his own TV commercials. Jerome was once again using the power of TV to launch new products using direct-to-consumer campaigns. Makeup doesn't have to be expensive to work. I got really excited when I read so many five-star reviews about Magic Minerals Online. Ever-evolving, in 2017, Jerome Alexander began testing video ads on social media to sell his expanding lineup of beauty products like Magic Minerals Powder Foundation. For our 50th anniversary, we're bringing you the very best of Jerome Alexander, our new 50th anniversary kit. And most recently, his new hit product, Magic Minerals Airbrush Foundation. Wow, okay. That's a wow. Since those early days, Jerome has been on a mission to change the cosmetic industry. While no one can deny the impact that Coco Chanel and Estee Lauder have had on the beauty world, there are few names in cosmetics that are able to evolve and innovate like Jerome Alexander. Jerome's philosophy for innovation involves taking a staple beauty item and making it better endowing every woman with the power to be their own makeup artist. In my book, which was called Be Your Own Makeup Artist, which was published by Harper and Row, believe it or not, in 1983. <laughs> and it, we're coming back out with it now in the new version. In 2019, a new photo shoot took place to update the book. Another way for Jerome to impart his knowledge with a step-by-step -step guide to makeup artistry for the everyday woman. What do women want? They want to look great, they want to look younger, and they want their makeup to perform and be affordable. Jerome's passion for helping women become more confident, more attractive, and more skilled in their beauty routines has driven each business decision, resulting in a brand that truly puts women first. Here we are, uh, you know, like 50 years later, guess what? Still rocking and rolling. Jerome Alexander, the man behind the makeup.